Hello friends. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about the nomenclature and classification of enzymes. So nomenclature. There are two method to give name to enzyme. First and second. So first method is to give by adding suffix is on behind which we which it use on the subset like uh, it use sub it works on a subset lactose. And add lactose by suffix s so lactase. If it works on a, like yes, if it works on a, on the you can use anything if it is on a protein. So become protease. Maltose. So maltase. By adding suffix is on behind the subset it works on. The second method is based on their activity. In which activity it performed like a bond breakdown, bond formation, protein degradation, carbohydrates. Based on which activity like cleavage, like hydrolyze, anything. So this two type of nomenclature is given to enzyme by enzyme commission by biochemistry department. Now let's move on the classification of enzyme. So there are six type of class of enzyme and also a subclass, sub subclass is there by giving the name of like dot zero 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 gives a sub subclass. Now the classification. The best method to remember is remember oath lil. A six word letter oxalyl. So first is oxidoreductase. As the name suggests, what will we do? Oxidation plus reduction means it do redox process. So for example, here the subset A which is oxidized and subset B is reduce. Now it convert A into reduce and B into oxidize means transfer of electrons so it pro gives a redox potential or redox process the second one is transfer is it transfer the group from one to another like A having a B group plus X so it transfer the group a simple plus B group transfer on the X substrate. So it called transfer is the third one is a hydrolyze. Hydrolyze. What will we do? It do hydrolytic cleavage. So for example, here's a A B plus H2O. It cleaves A B into A H plus B O H. So it do hydrolytic cleavage. In all three exam, uh, exam uh, all three classes, there is no use of any ATP. That's must remember. The fourth one is a lyase. It is also known as desmolase. Now what lyase do? Lyase do formation of double bond means it cleave one bond bond or remove the one substrate or one group from the one side so it form a double bond like a is connected with b and x so what we will do a double bond b and x is removed so it forms a double bonds the fifth one is isomerase as the name suggests what will we do it transfer or rearrange inter groups so for example a having b group and c having d group so what do we do a c plus b d so inter group change will be done by isomerase enzyme the sixth and last one is ligase it is very usable and you also heard all name so ligase it use atp it is only enzyme which use ATP and merge the bonds, merge the substrates. 
like a plus b plus atp it gives ab plus adp plus inorganic phosphate so there are six type of enzyme classes we know that othlyl means oxidoreductase transferase hydrolyze lyase isomerase and ligase there are so only the ligase it require atp for the bond formation ligase and lyase are totally reversed from each other so i hope you understand please like my video share to your friends and keep watching my video thank you